Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. Your buddy John Megacycle here. Uh, yeah, Dyson Sphere Program, right? We visited this game. It has to have been years ago. Hold on. Do I still have my save file? 8-6 is not correct. <laughs> we visited this game ages ago. It couldn't have... Hold on. Now I'm really curious. It could not have been just four months ago. Maybe it was? Oh my god. How many of these videos have I made? <laughs> hold on. I want to find out now. Oh, three... Yeah, almost three years ago. Okay. My videos I created were from our key market... Uh, February 3rd, 2021. Okay. I was like, there's no way I played this game four months ago. Um, but I did. I loaded up the game to see if the Rise of the Dark Fog, is that what it's called? Was available. Yeah, Rise of the Dark Fog. Um, it is right now very early January 2024. This video, these videos are probably not going to come out for a couple of months. Um, I've got a full release schedule planned up and everything. It's going to be a hot minute till these videos get released. So if there's any critical fixes or critical bug things that come up like in March or May or something, I'm sure I'm, what sometimes happens is I get a, a uh, not a nasty gram, but I get a message that says, oh, they fixed that. And I'm like, yeah, it's great. I can't do anything about that. <laughs> so I wanted to try the Rise of the Dark Fog uh, badly, and I had other stuff going on, but right now, this moment of time, I've got like an hour, and I want to play the dang thing, and I want to get started. So here's where we're at. If you're not familiar, Rise of the Dark Fog is an enemy element that was added to the game. That's all I know. I don't know anything else. That's all, that's all the information I have. Um, let's see. What lessons did we learn the last time we played? Um, don't make your forge world the same as your production world. <laughs> I think I had one planet be like all the same thing, and it lagged pretty badly. <laughs> it was it was a little bit of a laggy mess. So my ultimate plan, and again, I don't know how to play this new version, but the main planet we exist on will be our crafting world. Whatever second planet we go to, that's going to be our forge world. And then, I don't know, a third world that does something else. Maybe maybe that has all the machine bits or something. I don't know. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Cluster seed, stars, resource, sandbox, enemy forces on. Yep. Dark fog settings. Whatever's default. I don't I don't care. Whatever's default. Uh metadata output multiplier 200 percent So this'll be my personally my third play. I played once, whatever, years ago. I played again so I could get a little bit of a better feel of how it plays. And I think I got all the way up to logistics bots, so then I stopped. So this is my first take on Dark Fog. So yeah, whatever. Start this thing. Oh, I thought I shut off the tutorial. That's okay. Welcome to the real universe. Very soon, you'll find this place different from our homeland. But you should be able to adapt to the laws of physics here in no time. I'm your advisor. I will assist you in completing this mission. Still gives me chills, holy crap. Awesome. Everything here belongs to you. As a member of the Cosmo, a pioneer of the Dyson Sphere program, you will explore this cluster from ground zero. Make use of the resources available here to build a Dyson Sphere that supplies energy to the center brain to maintain homeland simulation. I've chosen a planet for the mission and there are essential resources for the initial development. Now, please pilot the space capsule toward this planet. Three? Four? What if I went to four? How do I 
Am I, st am I doing it? <laughs> I don't think I have keyboard control yet. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna go to four. Nuts, nuts to you. How bad could this be? Does it... Does this work? Will this work? Oh my god, this is so slow. Is that the one I'm supposed... I don't... Actually, that kind of looks like a gas giant. So I am supposed to go to this one. Alright. I was being kind of sneaky. I'm like, well, what if I just went over there? Wouldn't that be kind of funny? Yeah, there's nothing there. I wonder what happens if you point this bucket to Epsilon Liporis, whatever, and just chuck it over there and be like, that's where we're going now. To a completely different place. Oh, what's this? That's Unknown new. EM signals detected. Extracting feature variables. Comparing with database. Those are highly likely anomalous mechanical bodies from the mechanic energy program. Okay, hold on. The music got stupid loud for no reason. Oh, dark. Is that considered dark fog alert? Me mecha alert? Yeah, it's, it's sure. Engineers call them. That's better. Dark fog. dark fog is extremely sensitive to EM signals under a regular pattern, so they may launch an assault on us. To stay low profile, we will land on the other side of this planet. You could have chosen a different planet. Also, oh, so it's dur it's Dune worm rules. Walk without rhythm, and you won't attract the worm. If you walk without rhythm, you won't attract the worm. Okay. Um, it has been a while. Okay, so the skipping of the introduction at least is still included that. At least I think I skipped it. For sanity's sake, I need to check anyway. Okay, hold on. Okay. I'm leaving the tutorial tips on in case there's something about this the- is Icarus. A very powerful but lightweight industrial mecha. Uh... Use the direction keys, or click the right mouse button. Okay, that's what I want. To move the mecha. Prior to the Dyson Sphere, humans- Oh, oh should we at least stop talking? The universe and create miracles. Yeah, that's great. If you need help, press G to open the guide book yeah. for detailed instructions. Yeah, sure will, pard. Sure will. Okay, go away. Nope. Uh, is there a UI scale? Hold on. It has been a while since I played. Atmospheric blur, debris amount. We could turn that down. That doesn't really value add to me. Anti-assailing. I don't know what any of this crap means. Maximum FPS, virtual synchronization. Uh, there. UI layout reference height, yeah, 1080, yeah, that's correct. Um, okay, I'm not gonna worry about it. Now, please try to disassemble the space capsule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Click the right mouse button to proceed. Prior to the Dyson Sphere program, humans launched the Mechanic Energy program to power center brain. Cosmo released a large number of self-replicating robots in the galaxy. These robots adapted themselves to the environment using fuzzy computing. And they also mined minerals and built space bases on planets. They even captured stellar energy with photon receivers and transmitted it to center brain. Years after the mechanic energy program was carried out, abnormal signals were detected. But these were a drop in the bucket given the sheer scale of the mechanic energy program. The unpredictable nature of adaptive algorithms is making the mechanic energy program less and less reliable. Because energy transmitted from different robot bases varies greatly, and their self-replicating genetic algorithms lead to character degradation. That sentence is weird, I don't care. Over time, the mechanic energy program failed to satisfy energy demand. And that's why Cosmo proposed the Dyson Sphere program. Countless engineers have headed to different planetary systems as pioneers of human civilization. Their mission is to build the Dyson Sphere to supply unlimited energy to center brain. That... In America, it's C E N T E R, not C E N T R E. So that screws me up every time. Instruction menu is locked. Complete a technology research to unlock. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. Click on the technology tree button at the bottom right corner of the screen to open the technology tree. Oh, we will do. I'm almost done reading it. Uh, the mission built dice for center brain. 
This all started from a remote cluster, which then proceeded to spring up one again at one after another. Engineers sent back warnings, but this did not prevent one planet after another from getting destroyed until calls were no longer responded to. Those clusters then fell to utter silence. Center Brain analyzed the energy fluctuations and images and concluded that the assaults came from the mutated robot units that have engulfed massive clusters like Dark Fog. That's why surviving en engineers named them Dark Fog. Okay, that's cool. Brave Engineer, you selected a cluster that may be infested with Dark Fog, so you may face numerous challenges. We still believe that your courage and wisdom, you'll all get good. This reminds me, this game reminded me more and more because you start off with a mecha. It. Icarus? Glad you got that taken care of. Um, this game reminded me more and more and more of, like, Total Annihilation kind of a thing. Um, feels more like Planetary Annihilation now that there's combat. Like, I'm really looking forward to seeing what all is what. Alright. Oh, let's see if I remember how to do anything. Space Dark Fog Hive, 0% threat. Planetary base, 0% threat. It's really hard to read, but it is up there, trust me. Alright, hold shift to... Okay. Just finished, uh... Just finished two playthroughs of Factorio, so now my brain is like, this is what this button does, and now I'm here and I'm like, oh, none of that does what any of that said it was gonna do. Like resources, like wood or gravel? Click the right mouse button as well. In addition, you can hold shift and click the right mouse button on each of your targets to give a series of commands. The only reason I want the tutorial Some is items to are found after disassembling the space capsule. Click on the inventory button at the bottom right corner of the screen to open and check. Okay. The only reason I want the tutorial on is because if there's going to be any key informations that get sent over to me about the Dark Fog, I don't want to be completely... Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, I dropped my gumballs. Like, I don't want to be like, whatever, whatever. Uh, electromagnetism. Hit that shiz. Is it... Was it for crafting? There we go. No, that's the core. Magazine? Oh, that's new. Fuel chamber, magazine, what does that say? Hangar and fleet? Ooh. Nice. You can hold the middle mouse button to rotate the camera, or scroll the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Uh, I want to get some of this tech going on, my man. Right, it's F for fabrication. Right clicking doesn't help. Feels nice to be back. Oh, I thought I need another. Oh, they make two to count, two at a time. Okay. Uh, okay, that gives us mining and stuff. Is there any other super critical to tie? Mining machine. It automatically collects ores for you. You can select it in the inventory or in the construction menu, collecting section, to start building it. What is that? Wireless power tower? Oh! Can charge the mech? Oh, that's dope as hell! Oh, I, I like that. I like that very much. And a weapon system? Gauze turret and EM fields used to accelerate bullet speed. 48 millimeter bullets from dense and in, in dense and intense firepower. Damage inflicted to low air units as a result should not be underestimated. Ammo box. Okay, copper to ammo. Got it. Uh, good. Okay. Yeah, I kept the mining just so I could keep the game going. Uh, where's that copper at, yo? Okay, what do we need? I don't have any copper, right? Uh, probably more importantly... Oh, I need copper regardless. Okay, good good news, good stuff. Why 
What happened? Um, probably running low on energy. Okay. Thank you. Go away. I I can't build a mining machine with you on top of it, you silly bastard. <laughs> uh, yes, I will refuel in a moment. Insufficient items. Click on the replicator. Oh, did I not make? The right corner of the screen to open the replicator and manually replicate the. Replicator. Oh, I thought I made a few of those. Oh, maybe I canceled it. Fuel is required for Mecca's every activity. When energy oh. is exhausted, its action will be restricted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Click on the Mecca panel button at the bottom. Oh, it's right, right here. Of the screen to open the Mecca panel and replenish the fuel chamber. Huh. All right. Not sure why a moment ago it said no dice, but that's okay. Oh uh, yeah, my controls are bad. I, uh... You built your first power transmission facility. I did. The Tesla tower. It can help you transmit power. A freaking Tesla tower. Okay. I'm gonna take the risk. I'm done with the go away. Thank you. To view more details. Now, buddy, you're great. I just. Don't want to hear it anymore. <laughs> it's being crafted. Oh, uh, wind turbines and crap. Okay. Uh, I want this a little out of the way. I know it's not connected. Please don't tell me about it. Oh, you built your first winter. Oh, milestones. That's neat. I don't remember that being a thing. my crafting right it okay it actually takes quite a bit of energy to do power trains uh, mission that's totes fine buddy that's totes fine uh, how do I delete something that's how we delete something I'm holding shift I'm holding shift like a fool thinking that's gonna Put a ghosty ghost down. J Megs, that ain't how that works. Oh, I know. I know. Okay, we don't have any amount of fabrication whatsoever, so. Is it control? Hot dang, it's control. You freaking know it's control. You ain't in control, you out of control. Hit me up with a tenor of that. Music's nice. It's a scooch. It's a scooch on the loud. Uh, there we go. I want, like, rolling background noise, not cacophony of uh, cataclysm. Catastrophe? Chaos? What was I going for? It was a C word, but I don't know what it is. Okay, looks like we're generating some threat. Good. Great. Are we out of power? Oh, we probably don't have nearly enough juice. Oh, yeah, not nearly enough juice. You take circuits? You don't. What do you take? What is this? Iron and copper? What do I have? Not enough of either is really the answer to that. Maybe before that, if you could? Oh, I'm so excited for smelting. It's gonna be real nice. Okay, there's enough for that. Can I cancel two of these? Oh, uh... I can cancel two of them by canceling all of them. The swarm will launch an assault when threat is full. That's... okay. Oh, they... Oh, what? Oh, I can't zoom out anymore, okay. Automagic metallurgy. Just, uh, just two of them, please. Thanks. Oh, and, uh... Of that. Okay, thanks. Um, the thing I was trying to say is it kind of feels like they want us to be on the defensive, which is fine. 
I don't have a problem with having to defend myself on the early, so now it maybe has a bit more of like a factorial feel to it. Like the biters are always there, right? The biters are just always forever present. You have to be ready for them. Something, something, something dark side. Now this is actually kind of interesting that I'm made aware. Uh, you can just cancel that. I'm made aware of the threat, which I think is neat. As weird as that might sound. What is... Okay, here's another thing that's really weird. Uh, every other game, like Factory Town or Factorial, the items to make the item go from left to right, I think? This is a little weird that it's right to left. It is a little weird. It's not bad. It's just weird. Okay. Uh, we're doing the research thing. Awesome. What is next on the research? What is this? Gears and chips. I has... No chips... Is there a, I forget if there's a pipette tool. Ooh. I forgot that was a button. Uh, excellent. Thank you. Oh, uh... Nope. Oh, okay. There is. Uh... No, I wanna... Is it control C, control V kind of a thing? Um, alright. Control left mouse. Fast transfer item, which is close, but not what I want. Oh man, I am not used to the menu and everything. Okay. Um... Maybe we'll learn how to do that later. Um, alright, I really want to figure it out, actually. Uh, key binds? Confirm to build, confirm to build, confirm to build, okay. Copy recipe. Oh, it, yeah, I would have never figured that out. Yeah, it's the greater than, less than sign. Yeah, early tech is easy tech. This won't take very long at all for us to get this all knocked out. Um, at least I could justify building a base, because I'm not going to bother building a base quite yet until we have a couple of smelters, a couple of assembly machines in my inventory. There's that. What's next? Ten more of these bad slamajamas. There you go. Um, let's see. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, I don't probably need a ton of these, but let's, let's start. Oh, uh, no, don't. Don't make plates, please. There we go. Or make way less plates. That's better. It's not perfect, but it is better. We're already at 10% threat. That's slightly alarming. Uh, upgrade. Oh, oh. Auto reconstruction marking? Mass construction? There's some new shit here. Energy shields? Unlocks mecha energy shields. Solar sail, vertical construction, that's all regular. Vein utilization, that's regular. Kinetic weapon damage, energy weapon damage, explosive weapon damage, combat drone damage, combat drone attack speed, combat drone durability, ground squadron expansion, space fleet expansion, hand structure, planetary shield. Holy crap. Universe Exploration, that's cheap, that's cheap, none of this other stuff is very cheap. Okay, uh, let's start with that, I also want Kinetic Rounds, what was it? Any of that. 
Faster engine, not there yet. New thing, not there yet. Not there yet. Okay. Oh, you can pause time. Nice. Uh, thermal power? Yeah, we could probably give some of that. Upgraded logistics. A splitter. Oh, that already gives us uh, the second level sorter. Splitter isn't new. Traffic monitor's new? Combustible unit, combustible fuel. Smelting purification. That's nothing new, I don't think. Okay. Uh, cool. All right. Uh, what are we doing? What's the research? Tech? Oh, uh... Planetary exploration, whatever. Okay. Uh, let's get... Hello? Are you out of stuff? Oh, you're just straight up out of stuff. Whoops. Clicking on... I'm clicking on it, wondering why nothing's happening. Um, okay. Where would be a nice place to set up shop? I'll be down south. We're working on that. Uh, yeah, if you could just crack out a ton of that. Oh, I did want one of those. Shoot. Just anything I can automate, even if it's a bunch of stuff I don't need right now, that'd be cool. I can now build a matrix lab. Thanks, guy. Thanks, dear guy. Uh, this is very similar to how I've been playing, uh, let's see, we just finished up a Warptorio run in Factorio and also a Warp Drive machine run. So if this, if this looks at all, uh, similar, it's because it's very similar. You don't have a lot of free space when you're getting up to all the stuff. So right now it's just very compact, we're just trying to get stuff moving a little bit. Uh, five? Please don't do that. Uh, where was, where was we? Uh, yeah, make a bunch of that. Oh, then I need some smelters. You cannot build conveyor belts. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, buddy. That's better. Okay, what do I need for the blue matrices? Not much. Cool. Gonna get a lab. Uh, two labs? Two labs. So we can just start cranking out some of this science. Um, I would also like... So I don't mind working on maybe some of the advanced stuff if y'all would help me with everything else. Cool. We're not making any chips. That's all. That's all. You can now build conveyor belts and sorters. Thanks. Thanks, guy. Thanks for the update there, guy. I kind of forgot that I could build the thing that you said. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. I'm not close enough. Yeah, I am. What do you want about? I'm hecka close enough. Hecka close enough. Hecka hecka close enough. Hecka close enough. Hecka hecka close enough. Hecka gecka gecka. Hard to say. Hecka. Hecka. I'm freaking hecka close enough. Oh, I didn't realize you gave me some already. Uh, I have gears, so that'll be an easy piece. Uh, yes, we are not making gears. I also don't want you to make, uh, plates. Thanks. Uh, the other components require raw iron, not plates, so... Not really too much I gotta fabricate about that, right? Uh, what do we got for power? We are connected, that's cool. Matrix lab introduction. Electromagnetic matrices. You produce the first matrix in 14 minutes. 
Uh, I could be going faster, it's just... It's been a while since a play... Oh, right, we're doing it manually. Well, I don't need any of that crap, then. The grid is still very disgustingly overloaded. Right, I keep forgetting I could do manual research. I keep forgetting that's a thing. Like, it's how we've already gotten this far, but it's still... I'm still a little slow on the uptake. A lot of the time. You can now build... I, mate, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. You can now view the planet's vein distribution from here. Noise. Let's see it. Why not? Yeah, alright. Cool. That's neat. Isn't that neat? That's neat. What's the next tech? Uh, 20 of the blue guys? Yeah. Love the sound of the mining in this game. It's so therapeutic, like no joke. It feels therapeutic. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um it is just a little loud though. Okay, that was not ambient volume. Whatever that was, it was not ambient volume. Is it machine volume? I think that might have been it. Uh, oh, there was also a way to customize. Offensive range? Yeah, keep, keep that on. That sounds like a good thing. Uh, armor customize. Oh, snaps. Okay. What do we got here? Main color, armor color, armor, metal, emission, core emission? Is that the visor? Um, let's do it like a mega cycle. Oh, whoa. Yeah, like a mega cycle, like blue. Uh huh. That's way too hot. Holy crap, that is stupid amounts of hot. Like just bright, 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 bright. Okay, can I, can I take you down slightly? Okay, that looks better to me. Uh, that looks better to me. What is this? The emission? I'm guessing that's the visor. Core emission? Oh, is there like a hot red? Eh, that looks a little too Decepticon-y for me. Man, you could do material reserves? Customized parts? Save mecha blueprint? Oh, wow, there's wings and crap? Uh, alright. We'll deal with that better more later. He sticks out like a sore thumb, doesn't he? Because all the buildings are yellow or the orange or whatever that we start with Icarus as. Uh, okay, it's... Uh, we'll, I'll tool around with it, like, later or something. I don't want to make it a whole deal right now. That is pretty cool, though. Okay, more... More gigawatts I can hold now, which is good. I already had it all queued up. Whoops. Alright, how's the grid now? Better. It still sucks, but it's better. One hundred percent sufficiency? Huh. I think that word was different the last time we played, but that's all right. So here's my little cute bootstrap base. Um, I don't like the phrase bootstrap base. I don't. It rubs me the wrong way a little bit. 
Uh, but let's talk about what that word means in games like this is what we're doing is we're building a small base. This is it. This is my whole base. We have resource acquisition. We have some processing. We have some manufacture. It's very straightforward. Uh, we're not going super far with any of it. It's very, it's very, very simple, right? Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep on this base, this little, this little bootstrap base for a while. And the phrase is called the bootstrap base because you pull yourself up by your bootstraps. Again, I don't really like the phrase, but that's just the phrase that's used. Oh, I need a, I need a smelter to make the rings. Hold up. Pull up. There we go. There's that's what's missing. Um, so yeah, we're we're gonna build this little tiny base, and then after a while, when we feel like we're comfortable enough, we're gonna pick up everything here, relocate somewhere else. Probably right down here. There's copper. There's iron. There's a nice stretch. There's stone and there's coal for power. There's plenty of stuff right there, plenty of buildable room as well. So that's kind of the plan. We're just gonna go down there and just like set up shop and that's gonna be that. Um, you can have that. Uh, yeah, all right. There's a lot of ways to play games like this and it's really up to the player. Um, there's differing schools of thought. Everyone's got their own ideas. Uh, some people love a big bus system. Some people like to do things a bit more manually. Uh, some are more decentralized. Some are more centralized. Depends on the tools and technology the game provides. Uh, good. Ex okay, here. You know what? Just there. Holy crap. We did it. It was 3.9 meters long. Um, if the game provides trains or drones or something to move stuff around, um, all these things can be really cool components when it comes to how to design a logistics system. This is how I like to kind of start and how I've been starting recently playing games, like I said, where uh, there's not a ton of free space. Like, there's not a lot of room you have. What you have is what you have, and that's all that you have. And then you have to go through more technology to expand and whatever, whatever. So this is this is working out pretty nice. We have a lot of uh, extra resources on us. Just gonna keep grabbing stuff so I can keep making stuff. Um, I'd like another five of that. Thank you. And now I'm just making the item. I'm not waiting around a whole lot for making a bunch of prerequisite stuff. Yep. Whole mess of that. You've unlocked the weapon system. You can defend your base against raids, survive against the dangers of this universe. All right. Our threat level's 43%. Holy crap. Oh, and not enough items. Oh. A guide to turrets. Okay, sure. This is this is kind of why I wanted talky McFace face. To counter the threat of the dark fog, Cosmos developed an entire set of defensive systems for engineers. Among these systems, the turrets are the most important part. Turret usually strikes enemies within its range. Turrets automatically use up both ammo and energy. To facilitate engineers' construction efforts, I'm reading it fast, I know I apologize. Cosmo designed turrets with subtle ideas. You can drag and build all kinds of turrets. All turrets that use ammo have a feeding port. You can use a conveyor belt to feed ammo. Additionally, you can either directly build turrets on conveyor belts or use... Oh, that's... Cool. Okay, neat. Oh, you just build right through it. Oh, that's dope. Okay. Uh, build the 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 the. Okay. Different turrets use different kinds of ammo. The damage inflicted by each ammo can be increased by unlocking technology. The technology tree. In extreme combat, turrets have exceptionally powerful ability. The supernova. Click on a turret to open the information panel, and the supernova button will be on the panel. Click on it to activate supernova. I followed that so far. Thank you. After activating Supernova, the turret will start to charge and enter burst mode and fire very oh, extremely quickly. However, Supernova consumes a huge amount of energy, so it's a good idea to use the accumulator to balance out grid fluctuations. There are several Supernova modes. In single burst, only the selected turret activates Supernova. In planet burst, all turrets on the planet activate Supernova. In group burst, all turrets in the same group activate Supernova. Holy crap! Who are we fighting later? Unicron? We're fighting... <laughs> Happy birthday, we're fighting Unicron later. Get in the car. 
Quit screaming. We're fighting Unicron. Uh, oh my. Okay, uh, how are we doing on... I, I can tell my clicking isn't quite where it ought to be, because I'm not clicking quite right. Wish I could, uh... So I'm control left clicking to fast transfer items out. I wish I could control right click to fast transfer items in. Then I wouldn't have to interface with the machine. Anyway, okay, I need to make a turret. You are not that expensive. Please make me one of these. Okay, do I have everything else I want before I expand? Uh, I wouldn't mind another 10 of that. Right, oh crap, sorry, I thought I was in the, still in the fabrication thing. Uh, I'd like, I don't know, five of that. We have 110 belts. Let's do that up a bit more. I will be automating this, like, don't get me wrong, but I just want to go to the south and just dump everything and be like, alright, we're online, no farting about. Uh, 30, 40, 50 sounds like good numbers to me. Do I want depots? Do I want storages? Maybe? I don't... I have decided. Uh, I would like some more smelt. Awesome. I'm not fabricating stone, so that's fine. Please don't do that. Uh, smelters? Nope, smelters. Assemblers? Am I not still doing gears? 45 a minute. Yeah, it just takes a hot second, I guess. Okay, do I have my defensive turret? Plonk. Uh... There we go. Nine kilowatts. Searching enemies. Groups. Current RDF. R -O rate of fire. ROF. Current power. Burst power. Super note. We're not touching that. Configurations. Ground high priority. Low air high priority. Alright. Okay. I... I think I follow. No, I don't. I don't want that. Thanks. Uh, all right. What else am I making? More smelters. More assembly guys. I'm not doing storage. I'm not doing defense. I got three. Oh, it's just called Cosmo. Okay. Um, I already have three science labs. Let's get a fourth. I'm not making glass, so that's fine. Um, defense. I want... Hit me up with, like, four more. I want to have some extra. How much ammo did you get? You got ten. Okay. Things are, things are moving pretty smooth, I think. Oh, then how do I make ammunition? Is it just the four four copper to one thing? Ammo amount 20 shots. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted to hear. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, what's the next tech? Let's talk tech. If I can be crafting stuff, I'd rather be crafting a missile turret. Implosion cannon? Hell's an implosion cannon? Battlefield analysis base? Autonomous bottle, battle, battle, I'm done reading whatever that was. Battle, battle, bottle. Uh, battlefield command. I don't have that. I don't have steel. I don't have any of that. That's too expensive. Mass construction. The current blueprint for production lines can 
So there's the same blueprints available even in a different cluster. Basic mass construction has a limit on oh, no, I'm not doing any of that right now. Uh, I don't have any of that. I don't have any of that. I don't know what that even is. It's an engine. That's new. Um. Nope. 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 Uh. That's a yeah. We don't have any of that. Okay. Uh. A hundred. A hundred. That wouldn't be bad. Enhanced structure. Adds enhanced structure to every unit. Durability of Icarus buildings and combat drones. I'm assuming they mean like hit points and such, right? Okay, I think I'm done. 200, 100. I'm not. I'm not handcrafting any of that crap. We're gonna automate all that. I just kind of figured if there was like another thing that needed 10 material or something, just knock that out. 100, 120, 120, 100, 230. Okay, that's worth. 50, 50, 50, 20, also worth it. How much does it take to make this? That's interesting. Okay. It's mostly copper. Let's do one more quick check. Do I have everything I want before we move on? Another five of that. Another five of that. Like, this isn't the end of it, but if I'm going to deconstruct everything here and relocate it, I would prefer we just do this in one... One harumph, and then I ain't gotta sweat too hard, right? Ooh, ooh, no, 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 no. Okay. Uh. Man, these things take a lot of gears, but I am building quite a bit. Uh, I don't care about storage right now. I'll do that manually if I want. Uh, nope. Oh, I'm not making those anymore. Right, 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 right. Uh, that's fine. Thank you. Uh, anything else? We got a couple defenses. We got that. I think we're good to go. Uh, I'm gonna wait patiently for this all to get built out. And then we're going to deconstruct all this and just move over. I could leave this here. Unfortunately, since I'm very unfamiliar with the clout of our enemy and how they're gonna swing their business around, I would much rather do this... I'd rather be conscience, conscience, conscientious. I'd, I'd rather be mentally present in one area. That's that's what I would like. I'd like to be mentally ready in one spot. Uh, still making stuff. I think this is a good start for our first episode. Uh, normally I keep these episodes about 50, 55 minutes, an hour, or something like that. Might do like hour 20, hour and a half, something like that, make these a little longer. Okay, we got all the stuff. What's our percentage? 73%? Okay. If I sell everything like this, does that change the score? It doesn't. Can I drag? I can't. Okay. Okay, we're all packed up. No problem. We're literally just going across the bay here. Like, this isn't super complex. Uh, but this gives me quite a bit more room to do stuff. Oh. It, you can damage the trees by walking into them? Oh, that's interesting. I don't think that was a thing you could do in the other thing. Good stuff. Oh, uh... <laughs> yeah, I want you to use Tesla Towers as an ammo type. Could you? That would be just super splendid. I'd really like you to get the whole boat. That'll do. Why you no know place? Too far away? Alright. Now we're now things are happening. Oh, uh, hold on. 
Now things are happening. Oh, I am so clumsy with all of this. Oh, right, we don't have a billion uh, drones doing a billion drone things. Oh, man. Icarus, just bend over and place the thing. Place the... <laughs> mate, pl just place the thing. Alright, well, let's be patient. It'll be fine. We have power. We have the turret online. We're good. We're, we're back to where we were. Back to the good. Copper was over there? Yeah, okay. Rip. Was it for... Yeah, okay. I'm getting the hang of it again. It's been a hot minute, so it's gonna take a hot minute. Uh, this is actually gonna have to go a little farther because that is also doing the that and then that's gonna do the that now you are actually gonna do this instead Thank you kindly. Uh, yeah, didn't plan this through at all, did I? Nope. Oh, man. Uh, nope. Not quite. Okay. Not too bad. Uh, I would like to fabricate ten more rounds. I don't know how much of a kick in the junk we're gonna get, like, right away, so I'd rather be a little prepared, and the idea is I want these items to cover each other. Alright, we just low on... Yeah, we're probably just screamingly low on power. Uh, how much... How bad... Oh, that's bad. Did I not hit you up with some bullets, my brother? Oh, my bad. Super duper my bad. My bibble dibble babble bibble bubble boo. <laughs> that was language. Don't fight me. <laughs> And one more. All right, we're in the blue. In accounting terms, it's what? If you're in the red, that means you owe money. If you're in the black, that means you're n not losing money. In this game, it's blue or it's orange. If we're not losing power, we're in the blue, I guess. Okay, good stuff. We got some decent protection. We got a couple of products kicking out. And I really wish I could get to environmental modification. We are at 90.9% .9 threat. I wish I had any idea what any of that meant. Well, I mean, I, I do know what it means. We're gonna get, we're gonna get attacked. Which is fine, that's kind of the name of the game. <laughs> no, the name, the name of the game's not literally called, listen, fool, you're about to get attacked. That's not really the name of the game. I think you know, you probably know what I mean. Alright. Uh, I want something like one, two, three... Four? Why not? Just do the whole thing? I feel really, really clumsy. Which I'm sure I mentioned about eight or nine times now. 
Dark Swarm is launching an assault. That's fine. Uh, in a second here, I'm about to make... 10 more rounds. I would like to observe the battle, if that's possible. Oh, is that where it's coming from? Okay. I mean, we're protected, so I'm not not super worried about it. Super, I'm not super worried about it. Man. Language is difficult like in general. Oh. Yeah, no problem. Do we get scrap or anything out of that? Do we get do we get some uh do we mine it for money or something? No. <laughs> it, uh... It does not seem to be worth anything. Which is unfortunate. That'd be cool if that was worth, like, some scrap. And then we set up, uh... We set up a couple drones and they go and they go get said scrap or something. Did I not... I totally gave you ammunition. Or maybe I was panicking. Oh, I control clicked and nothing happened. Sorry. All right. Yep. My bad. That's a big old MB right there. My bad. I can't wait for blueprints. Oh my god. What? What happened? Remove all litter in the universe. Activate combat interface. Hang on. I'll read that in a second. Okay. Change the setting to manually pick up trash on the ground or space in combat interface. Combat interface sounds very interesting for it to be something as benign as cleaning up trash, but wh who am I to... I'm not here to fight, man. I'm just here to... Understand. Do I have a gun? Do I? I don't have a gun... Yet or now or whatever. Yeah, sorry, I got distracted with that combat. Uh, alright, so combat seems fairly straightforward. This seems fairly like tower defense... ...kind of style. Uh, meaning... ...there's a timer, a wave happens, fairly straightforward. Okay, I'm in combat mode, where's the debris? I kicked it, I kicked it over here, did it disappear now? All right. Set to automatically pick up or ignore specific items or set not to drop specific items when dark fog is defeated. Press and hold shift to ignore filter setting. No, I want all the stuff. How do I... Oh, trees heal? Interesting. Okay. Uh, how do I get out of combat? Oh, escape. Oh, it must have dissolved or something. Okay. Uh, good to know. Good to... Good to think about, I guess? I'm not sure. Okay. I've got the rings. I've got the plates. I've got the plates. We've got a crude oil here, which is freaking unfortunate for anything I wanted to accomplish. What do I need for blue cuboids? Uh-huh. 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 Easy. Uh, yeah. We're going to do... Nope, not that. Not, oh, uh, not that either. That's probably not far enough. Uh, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna loop this down instead. I didn't pay attention to that coal vein, or oil vein. We have plenty of room if we go south. We have plenty of no items if we go south. <laughs> okay, here's what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna start setting up little mini malls. So there is for gears, and there is for belts. Really simple. There's the gear. There's the belt. Nope. Please scoot out of my way. Thank you. Uh. 
I dumb? What happened? You're not connected. You silly goof. You silly goof. You're not even connected. You're not even talking to the same guy. There you go. Now how we do. Uh, okay. That actually looks like that's keeping up. Okay, now I want to know is how much do you store? Like, if it only holds like 20, like 20 of an item, then I'm gonna probably throw down some storage and isolate it up a bunch. Not sure, we'll see. Okay, 30. 30 is the limit that it will be. So, yoink. Uh, I don't think I like 30 being all I can do. Uh, I need one of them's. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, right. Uh, now I think there's a way. Filter. Set uniform filter. Set by existing item. Clear all filter. Uh. Oh, okay. Uh. Yeah, alright. Um. Start with that for now. How do I uh, limit for automation? Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, a stack is like 100 or something, right? Or 200 maybe? 200 is way better than 30. Cool, that's one less thing I gotta fart around with. Now, the other things I need to fart around with are building out the belts, which I'm gonna be out of in a moment. Okay, and while you're chewing on that, I can spec out blue science production. Uh, what was it again? Craps. Uh, circuits, which are easy. It's, yeah, it's literally both of those. Man, I have a bad habit of just keeping my inventory open for zero reasons. Okay. That... And now we're just going to take this like this, and then we'll merge out here. This will we'll have another belt, and it'll be the items, and that's how we're going to do all that. We'll do blue science down here, and then cram it in. We can get a lot of work done with just blue science. Logistical science? Oh, uh, right. What are the matrices called? Electromagnetic matrix. I knew it. I looked it up just to see if you knew it. Ball. I want to save the hydrogen fuel rod. That's a lot of good power, and if combat's going to be a regular thing, which it kind of feels like it will, um, I'd rather be kind of ready for it. What's that? Oh, uh, actually... I don't want to copy the whole thing. No, how do I... Okay, I had to get completely out of uh, build mode. Uh, I want you to automate ammo production. I don't know how intense the fighting is going to be, but yeah, just you don't have to do anything else. Just get that revved up. Thank you. How's our power? One hundo sufficiency. Fudge, yeah. Fudge, yeah. Uh, what's the other thing I need? Yep, which is that and plates. Easy enough. Yeah, this isn't going to be our final form <laughs> at all, but this is a nice start to form. That goes away. Any amount of automation. 
we can get knocked out is going to be the good stuff. Uh, how soon to the next attack? Oh, we got plenty of time. I think I'm going to jump the gun defensively, but I'm really glad I jumped the gun defensively. I wasn't sure what to expect. Oh, I could have trimmed this up a bit. Eh, it's fine. I'm going to get some more belts because I'm out of the good stuff. Uh, 73 belts? Yeah, I didn't have to make a lick of that, so that's perfect. Kerponk. Alright. Next, I need a facility on either side to make the blue stuffs. About there. About there. Then I want a different, non-connected piece. Oh, that's gonna be... Annoying. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be annoying. Alright, uh... Nope, 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 nope. Yeah, we'll do something like that. Uh, you need that, and I need that, and I need that. I think we're moving along pretty, pretty nicely. What the heck makes the blue cubes? Oh! I forgot how this game worked with science completely. Uh, I give you this stuff, you make us the cubes, and then another lab consumes the cubes, right? Is that how this works? I don't remember how this works. Uh, hold on. Ah, okay. Yep. All right. I'm I'm back in. I'm back. I'm back in. Um. Okay. Uh, too much Factorio. Not enough other video games, I guess. Um. All right. So that goes away, and that goes away. I want this to be pretty. Kind of bla uh, brainless. I was going to say blameless. Uh, I want this to be pretty brainless, so... Too close. Okay, I I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. I thought we'd give it a swing. I wasn't sure. Okay. Now, this on the other hand... Oh my god, I cannot wait until I have bots that aren't terrible. I love you guys, but you're all horrible. <laughs> what did you want to do with this? Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, how are we doing? It takes a while to get the parts moved, that's for sure. But okay, we got science. It's automatic. Don't use items in my inventory again, thank you. We don't- we, are, uh, we have everything? Wait, I can turn that back on, can't I? Yes, I can. Cool, okay. Alright. Automagical blue science, look at that. Is it actually keeping up? No, not even- not even a little bit is it keeping up. Oh, actually! Oh, insufficient power. Let's go handle that. I forgot, these things need a whole heck of a lot of juice. Am I placing these the most efficiently? No. Do I care? Nope. Even less. Even less do I care. Okay. Not too bad for a first... 
a first foray into stuff, yeah? Okay, you're full. You're getting there. Alright, so we got two labs running kinda nonstop. In Factorio, I always call the solid fuel Energon cubes because they're cubes, they have energy in them. Huh. Right? I mean, like, it's, it's very straightforward. Like, what's not to like? Here, very much of these look like Energon cubes. Thermal power. Thermal power plant is now available. Awesome. That gives us a use for coal. We can start shoveling coal into things. Gonna be real sweet. Real sweet. Um, I kind of feel that's enough for our first episode, yeah? I think we got some real nice work done. Let's go ahead and save. Uh, this is JMAG's Dark Fog. save -a Game saved. Okay. Good progress. We had our bootstrap base. We got a little more played into this. We got some science coming in. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else that needs to be said. So thank y'all for joining me, and I hope to catch you next time. Hey there guys, gals, fans, and pals, thanks for checking out my video. I also want to take a moment to thank all my supporters and donators, and if you'd like to join up with me and Game With My Crew, all the information to get connected is in the description below. Thanks again, and I hope to catch you next time.